Welcome to the first in a series of GibbsCam version 14 videos that will highlight all the new enhancements for the next coming release. For the next few months we will be covering everything that's new in this upcoming release and so stay tuned for these videos. Today the first one we're going to show you is the coordinate system direction arrows. Now in the past on all the older Gibbs versions you have your X and Y uh, direction arrows and the plus in the middle and if we were to flip this part over you would see there's the negative side which worked great but, but sometimes when you're working with um, uh, multi-axis machines or five axis sometimes it was a little hard to tell if you had the plus or minus up there so Gibbs decided to put in an actual direction arrow here as you can see if I go to a side view you can see there's your z-axis there, positive side. So that's a really nice enhancement. The next thing we want to show you is the trackball customization menu. So here's our standard trackball here and as in the past of course uh, you have your top view, front view, right side view, isometric view, redraw, previous view, no zoom, and home view. Uh, a lot of people don't know that in the past these are also um, will do the opposite by using your right mouse button so if, if I go to top view right click there's the bottom view you can see we're looking at the negative side and here is front view right click back view right side view left side view isometric view and right click isometric you can see it's flipped it upside down so very quick and easy to move around uh, the rest of these are basically the same um, except for the home view you can click home view which is our home view basically the same as the top view and you right click of course it's gonna flip it upside down okay so we'll just go to the top view but what's new in the new release is we can right click on this trackball and go to customize now customize, we can customize these buttons to use up to 64 different commands. If I show you the uh, menu here, you can see this is the trackball customization dialog. You can have up to 64 commands by using the shift control, shift control alt, or a combination of all three. And you can use just about any menu that Gibbs has and assign it to a key. So we're going to do that right now. So some of the favorite commands you might use will be different from mine but one I like to use a lot is mouse position so you can either scroll up or down there's a lot of menus to choose from or in the description you can just type in what you're looking for first one I'm gonna do is my mouse position I'm gonna drag it put it over in this position I'm gonna have my shift key on because I'm gonna use shift for that then the next one I like to use a lot is the duplicate and translate so I'll just type in duplicate and translate there it is there I'll just put it on the second one there third one I'm gonna do is shrink wrap there's shrink wrap you have either shrink wrap visible or shrink wrap I'm just gonna do shrink wrap put that in that position there next one I'm gonna do is force depth there it is right there put it over in this position Next one I'm going to choose is move part origin. Right there, I'm going to put it in that position. And the last one I'm going to do solids inquiry. And there's my solids inquiry. I'm going to put it in that position. Okay, I'm going to click on OK to save that. Now, as you hover your mouse over here, by holding the shift key down you can see that has changed if I hover my mouse you can see that's mouse position if I do that that brings that up really nice you can see the next one duplicate and translate there's that okay next one shrink wrap okay has some geometry out there so that's why I shrunk it around everything and again I'm gonna do that was shrink wrap next one is force depth radius so I can force the depth on anything, mainly geometry. Next one is move part origin. So if I want to move part origin, let's just say over to here. And there's my move part origin. And the last one, solids inquiry. So if I do that, I'm just going to bring my part up here. 
and click on that and as you can see that's a quarter inch radius and I believe all these are quarter inch radiuses uh, let's check the outside here this one for instance and that is a 190 radius so you can see you can customize these uh, buttons to be anything you want like I say up to 64 different commands on that so and as I'm moving my part around let's do one more thing here I like to use a trackball uh, by uh, 3D Connections. This is actually a space ball, trackball, space ball. You can move it around in space pretty quick and easy without having to hold down the mouse button or go over to the trackball and move it this way. Much easier. So if you have a space ball from 3D Connections, it makes life a lot easier. Thanks for watching this series.